double, triple axle. Okay. Very lovely. Oh wow, look at you go. I'm back. So Oh wait, yes? The view? Yeah. So the secret lab we're searching for is, is in Amaterasu headquarters. Say. Well, I have a bad feeling about this, Master. Okay, well your bad feeling gave me 10 points, so... Win! <laughs> uh, what was I saying? I don't know what I saying anymore. Chief, I'm back. Hmm? Oh. Was that a letter? I oh. can see them buzzards have pen pals. His hair has nothing to do with the letter. From? There's still some time before the meetup. From? Maybe now's a good time for goodbyes and farewells to Fuzzhead and the Flatty. Huh? No, no, no. I, I just want to know. How's the investigation going? Seeing your gloomy face, I guess I shouldn't have to ask. There's no need to rush it. And good job, Karumi. Now that you're here, why don't you make yourself at home? I swear to God, if you tell her to cook or clean, I'm gonna be so mad at you. Thank you. If you don't mind. Okay, good, good. <laughs> I was curious to something like, oh, this place needs a woman's touch or something terrible like that. See them. The last time. It's not really gonna be the last I'm time, about though, to right? Go someplace very dangerous. After all. It's a secret lab inside of Amaterasu Corporation. Chief Yaku helped me so much. And now, I might not ever see him again. What's wrong, Yuma? You look awfully tired. Maybe I'm sleepy, hey, you don't know. you better not have gotten mixed up in some strange trouble again, got it? N no that's not it. You sure? <laughs> well, alright. He's surprised that I haven't brought a corpse home. You made the same face when we first met at the Amaterasu Express. Things were completely crazy back then. Frankly, I'm surprised you even survived. Thank you. For everything. So, did you get any of your memories back since then? No, not at all. I see. Well, don't worry about it. You can live without your past memories. Sometimes, you're better off forgetting them altogether. Uh, okay, hold on. Does that does that mean you have a tragic backstory? Is that what we're hinting at here? <laughs> Is your past like that, Chief Yako? Hmm? Yeah, most of it. The things I want to forget, things that I can't forget. Right. I have zero interest in Fusshead's past. Should I mean, no, no, no. I want to know. Make them interesting. I was wondering. <laughs> do you have some kind of forte? Huh? Me? I don't got a forte at all. I'm no master detective. Just a regular one. I trained at the WDO when I was younger, but I never managed to attain my own forte. But to be clear, that's the norm. Alara and Fubuki are pretty exceptional. My colleagues who couldn't become master detectives gave up on their entire detective careers. Jeez. You never gave up? Yeah, <laughs> it's my pride as a failure. <laughs> Besides, there's something I want to protect in this town. What's that? Oh, is it a lover? Um, is it? You're fairly close, but that's not exactly it. To me, this town is my life. My bitter past, my fun memories, they're all right here. I just wanted to protect the happiness I found within arm's reach. But it wasn't easy. It was too much for me to handle on my own. And as a result, I lost everything. I was an empty shell until you all came along. Please, help me save this city. Oh, that's right, I forgot he did that. So that's what he was feeling when he said that. I think I finally understand the weight of those words. I wonder how much the chief has lost in this place. Compared to that, my memories seem insignificant. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, a detective grows stronger the more he is lost. In that sense, you have a lot of potential, Yuma. No, I'm just... Hey, hang on. Don't get me wrong here. I'm worried day and night you'll get us dragged into even more trouble. S sorry Please don't get in over your head. Yeah, but that's, isn't that saving the city? You know? Dragging in the corpses? Alright, Kermie, what's up? What do you want to say to me? I know. I may 
may be overstepping my bounds by saying I'm worried about you. No, it's okay. <sighs> wow, it's even more romantic now. That's not even... Wait, oh, Shinigami! You shipping it? You shipping it now, Shinigami? <laughs> huh? What's wrong? N nothing at all. <laughs> hey, come on. If something's bothering you, talk to me about it, okay? Sure, Dad. <laughs> I'm still chief of the detective agency that's overseeing you. Understood. Thank you. Even if you wanted to, there's nothing you can say to him now. Especially after he told you to stay out of trouble. I'm sorry, Chief. Master, I think it's time. Yeah. Um, Chief Yako? What's up? I've just remembered something, so can I go investigate it? Right now? Why don't you wait until tomorrow? Wait, what? And yeah, and I know I was joking about the dad thing. Like, I don't have a curfew, right? You're not my dad. Yes, I gotta check it right now. I'm sorry, but I have to go. D hey! <sighs> Hold on! Karumi, too? What's going on? Oh, hey! <sighs> oh my god, look at he slouches, too. <laughs> oh, you scared me! Vivia! Were you there the whole time? Oh, Chief. Good morning. Good morning? Do you even know what time it is? Where did he go? You mean Yuma? He ran out, saying there's something he wants to investigate. Hmm, I see. Like a thunderbolt in spring, the pale blue blink in the far-off night sky. Soon, a storm will arrive. Huh? Huh? <laughs> he is dangerous. I mean, we did kind of kill a lot of people, I understand. What did you say? Oh, it's nothing. I just... <sighs> I want to die someday. Wait. Is he immortal? Is that why he's saying that? Like, it's not just like, a, like you know, his like, cute emo shtick of was like, oh man, I totally just want to die. But it's more like, he can't? Wait, you're going back to sleep? You've gotta be kidding me. <sighs> oh yeah, the letter! What's the letter? What's the letter? Cool, I guess we'll forget about that for like, four hours, right? <laughs> Yuma! Please, come back safely. Take care. It makes me worried how she said that so solemnly. I feel like a soldier going to war. I mean, it's the same thing. Hey, this could be even worse than the battlefield. <laughs> uh, we should head to Kanai Station and meet up with Makoto. <sighs> I just, like, left. Fine, fine. Oh, yeah, he doesn't take buses, right? Here. He probably takes... Balloon animals? Look up. Maybe he's waiting in a car. Mm -hmm. Let's check around the roundabout. Okay, I don't see him here. Up or or the fancy fancy car. Oh, Maybe he's in that car. Yellow car statue thing. Now I get it. <laughs> you are we gonna hop into anyone's car? Like it's no big deal. I mean, if you can see him in there, so it's fine. But. <laughs> it's a I'm, nice car. I'm here. You're right on time. Do you have a license? Oh, this car? Of course, it's made by Amaterasu Corporation. Want to do a test drive? Yeah, I kind of uh, do. No, I don't have a license. What a coincidence. Neither I do I. I knew it. I knew you didn't have a license. <laughs> huh? Come on, get in. I'll take you to the secret lab now. I'm having a lot of doubts right now. Ooh, 
Ooh, we get fancy CG. Oh, what is this? <laughs> you seem nervous. You said I might die. Who wouldn't seem nervous? Blame you. You're heading into the heart of enemy territory right now. He's kind of turned into the scene from uh, Detroit Become Human, though. This is the security area. It uses biometric authentication, so it's difficult to slip past. Of course, everything will be fine because I'm here. But if you're my clone- <gasps> Oh wait, face reveal? <laughs> Darn. <laughs> Yuma, you should've like turned and looked at his face. It's clearly something I need to see. From here on, I'm really basing this on the fact that he wears a mask and he's our height. Are you ready? <laughs> like, clearly, yes. has to be our clone of some kind. Longless brother? Or maybe the original and we're the clone? I don't know. Welcome to Amaterasu. We managed to get inside. Welcome to Amaterasu Corporation. Be more bold. If you look like that, people will only suspect you. Would they come up to me, like, saying next to you, though? What a cyber futuristic lobby! It's nothing like Buzzhead's agency. Oh, where's that cafe? Can I go to the cafe? There's something unsettling about it. It feels so sterile. Looks like a mall. I'll totally get you. I could really use some blood and guts and a headless corpse or two wouldn't hurt. No, you totally don't get me. I can look around. I don't know. I think it's cool. I really like Didn't this. The receptionist seem really suspicious of me. You're walking with the a CEO. Face like that, it can't be helped. My face? How about we pretend you're my secretary? Yes, you're here as my able-bodied secretary. Now stand up straight. You are supposed to be here. I don't know if I can change so suddenly. <laughs> you might, you have to. You're a detective. It's the rules. The secret lab is deep underground. Regular employees are not given access to it. That should do it. This is making me nervous. Who knew you could get inside so easily? Everything is almost a bit too easy. Okay, but watch the secret lab be something like really silly. Like, it showed the little robot dog. What if it's just like 800 robot dogs when we get down there in a ball pit? Like, I'm gonna have fun and never come back up. And that's why you said you'll never see your friends again. Because you'll never want to leave the ball pit of puppies, of robot puppies. Venus is all pins and needles. I can't imagine he's plotting anything. Besides, I may as well take back whatever information I can get. But what good will it do you if you die? Then again, I could just take over your corpse and walk all the way back to the agency in your place. Yeah, that works. You can well, do that. If that happens, I'm counting on you. By the way, if there's something you want to ask, go ahead now. There won't be time to talk once we arrive at the lab. Oh, then... What should I ask about? Yeah, give me options here. What, what can I? Uh, okay, I guess about, about the lab. That sounds about what right. What sort of place is the secret lab? It's literally a lab that's secret. Thanks, Makoto. That doesn't <laughs> answer my question. With any organization, state-of-the-art research is kept top secret. And only the senior executives are given access. All companies keep their research secret to protect their profits. That's true, but... We have especially advanced research machinery, even by Amaterasu standards. This is where our world-leading products are created. So what are you developing here? I can't tell you that, but feel free to look with your own eyes and imagine for yourself. Hmm, perhaps I'll give you a hint. I like these, like, I signed an NDA, but... <laughs> 
I'll just talk around it or show you things. Our head of research is Dr. Weska, a specialist in weapons development. Weapons development? You know, I probably should have read his little thing, huh? The crudest, the loading screen. and most delicate research in the entire world. It's a lot to worry about. What do you mean? Well, this is just a rumor. But someone in Amaterasu Corporation is working behind the scenes with Dr. Weska. I don't know what they're plotting, but if this rumor is true, they must be dealt with eventually. Whether as CEO of Amaterasu, or as someone who loves this city. Which is why you brought me here as part of your inspection. Very good. You're a sharp one. So he purposely brought you here? So no one would suspect his real motive? He's obviously using you as a scapegoat in case something happens! This guy's dangerous! We're facing him on the screen again like terrorist again! I don't think he's revealed his true motive yet. And I won't end up as some sacrificial lamb. What should I ask about? I'm the same in order, um, why not? Mr. Makoto, you're really the CEO of Amaterasu Corporation, right? Please, it's just Makoto. You really still doubt me? You saw us move past security. Yeah, but... Do you have a problem with the way I look? Would you prefer I was an old man with a comb over? No, please don't. I suppose I could make a mask like that. Please, don't. <laughs> Just stay the way you are. You sure? I have other masks. So let me know if you have any requests. Wait! Requests! Requests! So many requests! <laughs> Okay, uh, and now I just, the, my brain of thinking of every favorite, like, ninja or masked person just left my brain. But I would think of something for you to cosplay, sir. By the way, <laughs> this mask is modeled after a god worshipped by the Bora Bora tribe, who live near the equator. Um, when did you first become CEO here? Hmm, I think it was about three years ago. I haven't always lived in Kanai Ward. I just happened to come here for work at Amaterasu Corporation. Just one small accomplishment, and then, before I knew it, I was chosen to be CEO. Uh, okay, that small accomplishment is either murder, or you're literally just like a figurehead they placed as CEO to get away with stuff. Is that true? Yeah. It sounds like you have your head in the clouds. Of course it's true. Then what was the small accomplishment you mentioned? It it's must have gotta been, been murder. enough for you to be chosen. I can't discuss the details of my work. Even if I told you, it's too specialized for you to understand. Honestly, or just I'm woke up as a, a, a monkey Ward. lie. I thought you were born and raised here. Well, if you stay in one spot for three years, you grow attached to it. Yeah, they that's say true. even couples who have fallen in love usually break up within the first three years. What should I ask about? I like when we just ignore him when he goes on tangents. Are there any peacekeepers at the secret lab? Of course. They're everywhere. However, due to confidentiality issues, we have regulations in place minimizing the number of staff there. Couldn't you order them to withdraw? Is that possible? It's not so easy. To deal with the peacekeepers, you must deal with their leader. Yomi, right? But considering your positions, don't you outrank him? Maybe to the outside world, but in truth, we're not so different. What's your relationship with him? You could say we both fought for the top spot in Amaterasu. That's the easiest way to put it. Fought for the top? At the time, Yomi was so elite. It was assumed he'd be the next CEO. No one expected I would overtake him and gain that title for myself. Yomi as CEO sounds terrifying. Are you kidding? In the end, you were chosen. I never purposely aimed for the top, but there was something I had to do as the CEO. What was it? It's a long story, so I'll save it for another day. In any case, I was officially appointed as CEO. So that's the post I hold now. Yomi believes I cheated to get my way here. Ever since then, He's hated my guts and has grown more heavy-handed over time. The previous CEO died in an accident. Uh-huh, uh-huh, well, an accident, huh? You think Yomi is responsible? That's just a guess, mind you. I think he could do something like that. 
Regardless, his resentment seems justified. I don't know what he's thinking. But the fact remains that he's spreading fear throughout the whole city. For the sake of Kanai Ward's future, I cannot allow him to run free. He says it's for Kanai Ward's future, but it's probably just for himself. This is just a fight for power. It'd be a nice show if more corpses pile up. The WDO getting involved now certainly complicates things. It's complicated enough already. You're the only one who hasn't noticed yet, Master. I thought I knew, but I get the feeling the worst is yet to come. I'm really scared with worst being in yellow right now. Although, I have no idea which form worst will take. The thing I could think would be the worst is that we go to uncover a crime, we go to the mystery labyrinth, and someone we know who did it for good reasons, and we reap their soul still. <gasps> oh my god, what if we reap Makoto's soul? And then Yomi becomes CEO. Because he's next in line, yeah? But what if Makoto has a homunculi backstory and he has no soul? Then we're okay. <laughs> right? We're here. <sighs> There's that face again. Did you forget? Right now, you're my able secretary. Don't look so worried. Or should I lend you an extra mask? It'll be perfect Wait, for hiding yes, your face. Yes, please? Can I? No, I'm fine. No, no, I want a mask. Yuma, he's giving you a perfect opportunity to hide your face and your, your involvement. Then let's go. Yuma, think, Coco Head, think. Hmm? That's odd. The gate was left open. Under normal security circumstances, there wouldn't be so many peacekeepers. Did they find out about me? Oh my god, you must so, you'd already be captured. They wouldn't even let you off the elevator. For now, let's ask them what's up. Hey, wait! Do I get a look around? <laughs> escape! Never mind! Come on! That's right! Oh no, I was kidding. I wasn't trying to escape. Should've got me, I swear. I was literally just looking around. Hi there. What happened? Ch Chief Executive, I regret to inform you that- <gasps> Was there a murder? Two peacekeepers on guard duty at the gate were knocked out by someone. Is it an intruder? Yes, that appears to be the case. So we have a guest. Who would have thought there'd be an intruder right now? An intruder? The timing is too perfect. It's like they were waiting for you, Master. Huh? Hey, what's going on here? Am I seeing things? Hi, Yomi. <laughs> the tacky piece of trash that loves looking down on citizens from on high is actually strutting around on the ground. And with the fucking detective who moonlights as a terrorist to boot. <laughs> That's even this more impossible bad. than a chance meeting between an umbrella and a sewing machine on an operating table! This is bad. Why is he, of all people, here? Should've taken that mask! This is the worst timing. Master, you're the world champion of getting into trouble. Hi, Yomi. You came at the right time. We have an emergency. An intruder has gotten past the gate. You don't need to tell me what I already know, you masked freak. It sounds like you already know about the intruder. So, you received an alert and decided to pay a visit? Seeing you personally take care of things is a rare sight. Of course well, he's I running out peacekeepers, that's This is or... an important base for us. <laughs> well, do you have any ideas regarding this intruder? I'm not required by duty or cosmic law to tell you a <laughs> damn thing. Go back to the clouds and read poetry in the bath. I'll help. What? As CEO, I offer my full support to the Peacekeeper's investigation. What, like some sort of truce? Is now the time to fight among ourselves? Fine. I'll accept your peace offer. You think I'd really say that? Okay, I was like, I wondering, I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> you don't seem to understand the situation you're in. You're gonna give yourself like high we blood pressure really fast. Stupid. 
I have Your heart can't take all this. Numbers and charisma that far surpass yours in every way. You are in no position to order around the great Yomi. I'll admit, I have no power, numbers, or charisma. But what about here? <sighs> you talk a lot of trash, empty-headed balloon boy. How about I catch this intruder before you do? Oh no, he's gonna be like... He's gonna reverse Makoto this. <laughs> he's gonna like, tell him, Yuma! And we're like, what? Makoto, no! Huh? You? Catch the intruder? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. We're dealing with Fink the Slaughter oh, Artist. Oh, the serial killer that I definitely read about and I totally remember what it said. Fink the Slaughter Artist? The famous hitman? Who's this new character now? He said hitman. What? Were you acting all tough for no reason? You sure are a brainless executive. We've been looking into this for days already. <laughs> Couldn't he handle us? He had throw it on the ground. <laughs> You're so traumatic. Oh, death threat. <clears throat> Dr. Wesker must pay for his sins with his life. My blade shall be his atonement. It's a death threat. Dr. Wesker is... Isn't that the head of the lab he mentioned? So a hitman's out to get him? This thing was sent to the peacekeepers and the lab itself a few days ago. The slaughter artist signed the envelope in big letters. He craves attention like a schoolgirl with a new haircut. Or maybe now he has a you know, everyone down here and he's probably, you know, causing mayhem upstairs. It doesn't matter who he is. The moment he steps into this lab, he'll be caught in my trap. Sorry, but we'll be the ones to handle this hitman. Keep talking, you clown. Your words are just as empty as your head. We, the peacekeepers, are gonna catch the hitman. We're the keepers of order and we'll show him who's boss. You best be careful not to stand in my way. It'd ruin my shoes to stomp on a pile of shit. Okay, that's a good line. <laughs> I'll, like, I'll give you that, Yomi. Are you sure you can catch the hitman first? Huh? It's not my job to catch him. It's yours, no. detective. He really pulled a tell him, Yuma, on me. I knew it. Yeah. <laughs> there, there. Don't look at me like that. As a result, you weren't taken by the peacekeepers, and we also gained information about the intruder. We've killed two birds with one stone. Maybe, but... On top of that, you can peruse the lab freely now. So it's more like a three base hit sending all the runners home. Was that his goal during the short exchange with Yomi? If so, he's not just any regular person. I understand why you think he's creepy. It's probably best to stay on his good side. Although, I don't think befriending him is smart either. In other words, as I keep on saying, you should just run away. It's too late for that. Now, let's go inside the lab like we originally planned. As planned, huh? So <laughs> this is the secret lab. Let's keep up with Makoto. No. <laughs> we are going to... Wait, not selectable. Wait, does that mean there are none? Or does that mean... Fine. It's also uh, uh. Okay, oh, I'm like, what? Is that a robot? <laughs> I think I've seen it somewhere else. Isn't that the one they advertise a lot on posters around town and those big digital billboards? Oh, it's a toy robot for children. It's being developed here. You make them here? Toy robots, I mean. It may be a toy, but it's quite advanced. State-of-the-art technology oh should be just isn't it? for adults. <laughs> In fact, I even have one. It's quite nice. The camera fixed to its head can connect to a device's display, and it can also be remote controlled. It even features an interactive mic and can carry a load of up to 100 kilograms. It's advertised to withstand play with your rowdiest kids and as being tough enough for an elephant to stand on. Like Megan. 
Um, shall we keep going? Oh. No, no, no. Yuma, Yuma. Um, let's talk to this person here. We're not leaving this. What the heck? No! Come on! <laughs> By like, here let's show is. up Yomi. Let's go inside. Yes. I don't know this Weska. Do I care to save him? This is the front chamber of the critical lab. You can consider it an entrance. Dr. Weska's critical lab is sealed with especially tough security. Anyone who tries to enter carelessly would be in grave danger, including myself. So, in order to meet the doctor, we must first contact him on the intercom. Who dares disturb the thoughts within my sacred brain cells? Okay, sure. Dr. Weska, it's me, the CEO of Amaterasu Corporation. Who the hell are you? I refuse to speak with any disrespectful hoodlums. Either take off your mask or present someone whose mouth I can view. You heard him. Yuma, can you take my place? Huh? Me? Why doesn't he just take off his mask? This doctor guy seems like the stubborn type. I doubt I'll be good at dealing with him. The only humans you're good at dealing with are young girls. Right, Master? Um, Rude. My name is Yuma Cocohead. I've come here today after being advised by Mr. Makoto. Speak what you must in under ten words. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Getting out my fingers. <laughs> you in danger, boy. Hitman here to murder your ass. Ten words. Oh, sure. Um, you're being targeted by a hitman. You need to get somewhere safe. You've exceeded your word limit. Game over. Don't come back. Uh, uh, hold on! See how difficult he is? He's a great researcher, but I can't say the same for his personality. People say he's been in this lab for months now without seeing anyone. For months? It's like the Heavenly Rock cave legend. However... Huh? There's only one way to get him out, and it's not some passionate dance. It's this. <laughs> Ring the button again like, sir, it's your DoorDash order. <laughs> huh? You're a persistent bugger. What's the meaning of this? Do you wish to become a test subject for a new weapon? Uh, um, as I mentioned, a hitman is... I know that already. I received a threatening note a few days ago. Huh? How? So you received one too? Wait, wait, wait. How do you receive the note, though? I received a report from my subordinate. I didn't see anything of the sort Ah, okay, myself. okay. Why didn't you run away, then? You'd be better protected somewhere safe. Well, I mean, he's actually kind of in the safest spot here, right? Well below ground, in a biometric place thing wherever there's no people in all the time with like hundreds of peacekeepers like technically i think he's in the safest space what a foolish question what place is possibly safer than here the security system was instilled with my genius whether it's a hitman or the ceo anyone who dares enter without my permission will be turned into a test subject and now that you've been enlightened, quit wasting my precious time! It appears he won't budge. Such a shame. I wanted to ask him a few things, too. S sorry It's not your fault. He didn't even talk to me. He appears to despise me. Maybe it's because I keep trying to investigate his research. So having you introduce me wouldn't have made a difference in the first place. <laughs> Probably not. But I thought you'd like the chance to speak with the doctor. Mm, sure, I guess. He is the head of Amaterasu Corp's research facilities. If there was any sort of questionable research, he would know. Questionable research? He's referring to the homunculi. Um, isn't there some way we can reach the doctor? I doubt he'd answer the intercom again, and it's impossible to get past his security. You can attempt to force your way in, 
but you'd be risking your life. The security is that tough? Wait, she didn't me. If I lean against the wall, can you, like, float through it a little bit? <laughs> you could say it's impregnable. You could even call it murderous. Intruders will be immediately killed. Killed? It's not so much a security system as a boom kill device. It's a security system so perfect that even the devil would avoid it. Even though this is the heart of Amaterasu Corporation, I still think it's a bit excessive. So this is so getting murdered. We just saw about how he got murdered in his perfect unmurder box. Oh, if you want, I could explain what the security is like around here. Sure, because it's going to be a hint for later. Why not? Yes, please. Tell me about the security system. First off, we're in what's known as the okay. front chamber. It's like an entrance to the critical lab. So the question is going to be... Is the only entrance th or to this the front chamber, and did the killer go to the front chamber to kill Dr. Weska? You see that automatic door there? It's not actually locked. You can come and go freely through it. Once huh. you get past that door, you will need to proceed through three chambers before arriving at the doctor's lab. Okay. The three chambers are, in order, the airlock, the toxic gas chamber, and the panel chamber. Okay. Toxic gas chamber. Sounds dangerous already. It is. Anyway, let's go in order. After the front chamber is the airlock. Okay. The airlock isn't particularly dangerous. As the name suggests, it's a room that seals out air. It features a large decontamination device set up on a wall. This prevents gas from the toxic gas chamber from leaking out. If an intruder broke in or there was an accident originating from the toxic gas chamber, everything beyond it would remain safe thanks to the airlock. Okay, we're gonna keep that in mind for sure. So it's a room to stop the toxic gas. Once you get past the airlock, you arrive at the toxic gas chamber in question. It was supposed to use sleeping gas in the original design, but Dr. Wesco decided to upgrade it. If anyone enters while the security system is active, the whole room immediately fills with fatal toxic gas. The gas is comprised of bacterial aerosols, so regular gas masks are ineffective against it. Even okay. if you hold your breath, it penetrates the skin. There are no effective treatments for it in existence. But what about a hazmat suit? Isn't it dangerous to weaponize such a deadly gas? Oh, there's no need to worry about that. This gas is one of the doctor's failures. Huh? It's only effective in an airtight room. It is easily dispersed outdoors. I see. By the way, it takes time for the toxins to spread throughout your body, so it will not be a quick death. However, you will absolutely die within 30 minutes. Okay, 30 no minutes. Got it, got it, fate. got it. The time lag is another reason why it's considered a failure. But, as a security system, it's unmatched in offensive and defensive capabilities. Anyone who wanted to force their way through would need a spacesuit. He claims the gas will absolutely kill anyone. That's terrifying. That's not cute like me at all. It's not. And next, we have the third room, the panel chamber. Ooh. It consists of nine panels in a three by three layout. Oh crap, a puzzle. The, functions, the nine panels are set in a special sequence by the doctor. Stepping on them in the correct order unlocks the door. Only the doctor knows the order. Its key is sealed within his memories. Supposedly, even computers cannot analyze it. Also, stepping on the wrong panel will cause an intruder to be shocked at high voltages. But high voltages? An intruder would be burnt to a crisp before realizing they'd messed up. <laughs> it's totally out to boom kill you! It was originally designed to emit a light shock, but the doctor modified it to be deadly. You know, I'm feeling such not so bad this doctor's gonna die. According to the doctor, this string of security protocols is not meant to kill intruders. It's more like a deterrent. This display of excessive force would cause anyone to give up on breaking in. But there is a strong aura of malice here. I guess you could say that's another deterrent. It's true. If anyone knew about the obstacles, they would never even try to enter here. And also note there's a second decontamination device in the panel chamber that's identical to the one in the airlock. Of course, this is to prevent the toxic gas from leaking into the lab itself. Once the nine panels are cleared, all that is left is to flip the switch. Doing so opens the final door. 
beyond which is the doctor's lab. Speaking of, how does the doctor get in and out of the lab? Within the lab is a button that fully disarms all security measures. The doctor just presses it whenever he leaves. But he's remained in the lab for months. He seems focused solely on his research and hasn't set a foot outside. There's a toilet and shower, as well as plenty of food and water. Security is perfect, and since he's never interrupted, it must feel like heaven to him. I'm looking at this place like, okay, what, where else? Even so, it doesn't <laughs> seem healthy to be holed up in there for months. Okay, I, I love that Makoto's like, oh, I'm bored now, time to lounge around. I like this. <laughs> Did something trigger that? It's normal for a researcher to be immersed in his own research, but it is worrisome. We won't know the details until we speak to him directly. But from what I've heard, he was part of a big project that was cancelled in the past. He's shut himself in here ever since. A big project? Could it be the homunculus research? Anyway, as I've just explained, getting through the security here is impossible. If you wish to meet the doctor, you must get him to press the disarming button. In the end, we must communicate with him, which you appear to be better at than I am. Are you gonna take a nap? That's not true, but I guess I have to do it. Huh. I knew you'd be here. Hi, Yomi. Dr. Weska is safe. I've confirmed it just now. The security system is active, so I doubt the hitman can even get close to him. So? You talked smack about finding that hitman before we do. How's it going? As of right now? No luck. You can drop the phony act, masked freak. Act? My underlings <laughs> searched all around the lab, but no intruder has been found. Which means there was no hitman from the get-go. Isn't that right, you executive of massive fraud? Huh? Hmm? I know you're the one who made up that death threat, Makoto Kagutsuchi. What are you plotting? Why are you even here? You seem to have a misunderstanding. There's no doubt someone's been here before us. Besides, what would I gain from such a plot? I just want to have a little chat with Dr. Weska. What business do you have with Dr. Weska? Don't pretend you're just here to talk about the weather! I want to see if he needs my help with anything. I have a duty to watch over Amaterasu and Kanai Ward as a whole. What? What have you ever done for Kanai Ward? All you do is look down on it from on high. The peaceful order you see when you gaze upon it is thanks to my righteous justice. I'm the one guiding these lazy fools. I brought civilization to this place. I don't need you messing with the proper order of my city. Hey, tell Mr. CEO that he doesn't belong here. Who are you saying to say that? No, the peacekeeper's gonna say that. Politely escort him out. Make sure he can still talk, though. There are plenty of things I need to ask him. Just, just wait. <laughs> what a coincidence. Uh, I was hoping to have a nice chat with you two. Wait! It's alright, don't worry. We're just going to talk for a bit. I'll be right back. Are you? Uh, um... Uh, shh, shh, you must shut up. Shut up. Don't let him turn around and look at you. What even are you? Yeah, huh? You're not a citizen of Kanai Ward, nor are you a detective. What point is there in your existence? Yeah. <laughs> not that I care about small fries like you anyway. Just lock him up somewhere. Huh? W wait! Shitty Gami, what do I do? Jeez, you are always begging for help. Well, I mean, just don't get knocked unconscious again, because, like, that'd be, like, five concussions in, like, a week. That's not good for your head. I must admit, seeing you so pitiful is nice. I'm gonna stare at you for a while. Don't say that! Help me! <laughs> it's not like there's anything I can do in this situation anyway. Um, please, wait! Please, hear me out! Shut up and stay put! Here we are again, huh? I'm 
growing bored of this master. We keep getting kidnapped. <laughs> Why does this keep happening to me? It's like some evil spirit is haunting me. Wow, rude. What? That's impossible. Although, you do have an adorable partner here. <laughs> oh, there you go, sighing again. Keep it up and something bad will happen. I hope a meteor crashes down on me. Oh, you saw something like Vivia right there. That was cute. <laughs> we just took a nap. Is it time to switch out? Oh, is that late already? The guy inside? He's me. He seems to have quieted down. Anyway, you can take it from here. Hmm, uh, uh. I wonder who that tiny pe- wait. No, 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 different body frame. Wait, is this Desahiko and Halara? Hmm... W what are you doing? Uh, am I gonna be tortured? Please, wait! I don't know anything, honest! Stand up. Your sentence has been decided. You will be put to death. D -d death Wow! You got the death penalty just for tagging along? Damn. I don't want you to die, Master! Then do something! However, I will give you one chance. If you wish to escape your This is fate, Desahiko. He's gonna say, say that Desahiko is the smartest, bravest, handsomest man in all of... Say the name of the girl you like. Oh. <laughs> it is Desahiko. Huh? Come on. That's enough fooling around. Okay, Chief. Hey, Chief. What's up? Uh, won't you let me have a bit more fun? Tsuhiko and Chief Yako? Took you long enough to notice, Yuma. If you're this dense, no wonder you got caught. So, you used your disguise? I wouldn't really call it a disguise. This is more like a change of clothes for me. Yeah, it was like, I recognize by the height who it was. So who is the girl you like anyway, Master? Never mind that now. Anyway, what are you doing here, Yuma? That's what I want to know. Why are you two here? First off, you need to calm down, Yuma. Tell me what you're doing here. Uh, well, I was investigating that secret lab, and... And... Wait, are they the two intruders and who broke in first? That's what happened. I see. So that masked CEO had a hand in things. No wonder you were all fidgety when you came back to the agency. I'm sorry I didn't tell you. I'm sure you had no choice. Oh, that's nothing to be proud of, mind you. It's not some stranger with a sweet whisper that has your back when it matters. It's your friends, right? Don't misjudge these matters. Think carefully about who really cares for... Hey, now's not the time to give a lecture. <sighs> Why are all old men like this? I'm not that old! Master sure is an expert at getting into trouble. You're also an expert at crying out for help. But I wonder why these two are here. So, why are you two here? Oh, this was delivered to us after you left the agency. Oh, wait, another... Dr. West got safe for his sins with his life. My blade shall be told me. It's the hitman's death threat. Why was this sent to the detective agency? Leads me. But this Dr. Weska guy is famous among Amaterasu's staff. Also, I remembered he shut himself up inside their headquarters. So we came here to the headquarters and saw the Peacekeeper's director head inside looking all irritated. Okay, but how did they get past the biometric security system? Which was our cue. Disguise wouldn't cover that, would it? And that's where I came in. I hid myself among the other Peacekeepers and followed them Okay, inside. okay, okay, got it, got it to what happened to be the Three secret omies. lab okay. itself. I heard some careless detective got captured, so we came to hell. Thank you. You really saved me. Thanks to this letter, we were able to find the secret lab. But this Fink the Slaughter Artist guy, is he scattering death threats all over town? Doesn't that just make it harder to kill the target? The peacekeepers have ramped up their security. 
you'll never understand what these wacky named psychos are thinking. Maybe he prefers having a challenge or something. I don't know what the hitman is plotting, but there's only one thing we need to do. We must take Dr. Weska into custody as soon as possible and extract information about Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, again, really he's safer in this area. The Mokulai, then he would know. I mean, he's gonna prove me wrong, because I, I know for a fact that that man's getting murdered. But from what Yuma said, this mission won't be that simple. The masked man is meeting the doctor for a reason, and the peacekeeper director is after him too. On top of that, some first-rate hitman's gunning for him. The fight over Dr. Weska is taking shape. Our competition's quite the lineup, but we can outsmart them all. The Nocturnal Detective Agency has been pressed in on all sides, so it's about time to show them what we're made of. Oh, Chief, you're usually so pessimistic. I like what I'm hearing. All right, let's do this. Yeah, we still yeah, have our time. Let's, let's do this. <laughs> I love this totally gung ho attitude. It's super stupid. Not that I mind one bit. Wait. Yuma, you want to put on Wait. a disguise? I'll match your preference and make you look like a lady peacekeeper. Yeah, that sounds fun. Uh, is that security cameras behind us? Were we really locked in a security camera room? I don't have a preference. Oh, wait. I had to hide my bag on the way here. I need to get it first. Let's go. For the first time, I think Buzzhead and the shitty yeah. detective are- They literally lock us in a security room. This is dangerous for them. What the heck? <laughs> okay, look at my gab now. Yes, 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 yes. Seeker of the toy. So I'm guessing that's the toy- The toy thing. That sounds so pop- uh, the toy thing we saw with the weirdo looking dude. Oh, no, 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 don't do anything yet. Something that won't fit in the mail. Sneak peek. I feel like I missed that, so I guess patrolling would be next, or-, or unless I missed both of those and it's going home because I'm scared. Treasure okay, not construction site. And if I see a red bridge. Okay. So, Seeker of the Toys. Or it's just glowing right here. Oh, it's a secret peek? Because they're peeking at them. Tessahikos! I can't believe I did all that and it was like, it's just right here. No, it's not secret peek. Huh? And a murder is occurring. <laughs> Whoa! What's going on? A blackout? I despise both extremely dark and bright places. Please make it just right. Y hang on. Calm down. Don't move about carelessly. Hey. Let's came back. And someone's power dead. Power has been disrupted. We are now switching to backup power. Review all systems and report any errors. A blackout at a high-tech place like this? <laughs> Yes, it's not as great as it's made to Oh, look, look. all the security cameras! All the security cameras have been jammed! No. Maybe it was... Could it have been the hitman? Yes! If the security system protecting the lab shut down during the blackout... This is bad. The doctor is in danger! Let's head to the critical lab care? right away! But we will do it! Do we care? Doctor. Yuma, take us there! Right! Wait, wait! That blackout should have caused a commotion. If we leave now, the peacekeepers will see us. I knew it. This place is crawling with them. What do we do? I'll draw their attention to buy some time. In the meantime, you two hurry to that doctor. Huh? You, Chief? What? You're worried I can't do it? I might not have a forte, but I do have my detective experience backing me up. I'm Chief of the Nocturnal Detective Agency. Leave this to me. Wow! Buzzhead looks so cool now! Okay, good luck. I feel like you just put on your peacekeeper uniform that you had. Wait three there minutes after I leave the room. I'll get their attention by then. I mean, you the guys helmet use too. that opportunity to secure custody of the doctor. I'm counting on you both. See you later. Oh my god, did you actually stop smoking for a second? Okay, he There's the hitman! I saw him go this way! Ah, 
Actually, aren't we the ones doing the more dangerous thing? That's not true. I'm sure it's also dangerous for the chief to be a decoy. Well, I guess just being here is dangerous either way. <laughs> I think we can go now. There's no time for a disguise. Let's hurry to the doctor. Right. I mean, we should still get your stuff, yeah? The hallway is darker than before. I think it's due to the backup power. The doctor's lab is this way. There's no time for a detour. Let's hurry. So we're gonna take a detour. Yuma! Yeah. Oh, fine. Okay. Toys, toys. I gotta look for toys. I love the atmosphere in this gloomy lab. Okay, where's... Oh, he's not there anymore. I hope Chief Yako is okay. That's oh, Fubuki. No. That is Fubuki's walk. I know your walk, girly. Uh, I finally found you. Uh, please hear us out. We thought the doctor would be in danger, so we. You no longer have to fear getting lost. I am in your care. Huh? Oh, Yuma. Has your amnesia deteriorated to the point that you have forgotten me? Wait, Fubuki? Princess, things have gotten complicated, <laughs> uh, so you can take that off now. Oh, I forgot. How about now, Yuma? Does my face look familiar? <laughs> we should play along, like, who You're are you, ma'am? Yes, I am a detective and adventurer. The chance to explore dangerous places gets me excited. But because everyone is disguised, I cannot tell who is who. So that's how you got lost. As usual, she is such a troublemaker. Hey, we don't have any time to waste. Let's hurry to the doctor. Let's try calling him on the intercom. I hope he's all right. He's so dead. Doctor! What? You again? Stop calling me! Thank goodness! Dr. Huesca, you're still alright! What are you talking about? The hitman hasn't arrived yet. When will he show up? Don't tell me this so-called first-rate hitman was captured by peacekeepers! Is he not angry about the blackout? I feel like he'd be someone who'd be angry about the, you know, lose electricity and power and stuff. No, the hitman hasn't been caught yet. Anyway, there was a blackout earlier. Is your security system all right? <laughs> this critical lab operates on a separate power okay, got system. Okay, it, got it. That obviously includes its security measures. I can even review the log on the computer itself. Yes, security didn't drop for even a second. It's a baseless worry. Sheesh. Seems like he stayed safe, but man, this old guy sure is annoying. Old guy? Annoying? I can see you, you pathetic tiny weakling. What? You calling me a weakling? How dare you? Did you calm down, Desuhiko? By the way, who is that woman behind you? Oh, don't be a creepo. Oh, um, she's another detective like us. She's here to protect you. A detective woman? Protecting me. Oh my god, wait, no! Oh my god, you're not gonna be like a creep, you're gonna be misogynistic? That is right. I shall do my best to protect you. This might be our chance, princess. That dirty old man has a new look in his eye. Let's draw the geezer out of his hiding place with a honey trap. Ew, no. Ooh, tell him, I will serve you with all my heart, yeah? No. Sure. Leave it to me. No! Desuhiko says he will serve you with all his heart, yeah? Hey! That's not what I meant! Hmm. I am running low on supplies, so I suppose it's time. If you detectives will protect me. Whoa! She's super effective! Dr. Huesca, I'll come get you. Can you shut off the security on your end? Huh? Wait, what the... Dr. Huesca? What's wrong? Wait, getting murdered. who are you? Getting uh, murdered! Help! Somebody come help me! Well, we can't, can we? Doctor? Doctor! Hey, what just happened? Did he say who are you? 
Was he attacked by the hitman? But the security system is still active. No one could possibly reach him. Come on, the doctor was definitely just attacked by someone. Unless the doctor's faking it. We have to go help him. Wait, Fubuki, stop! There are toxic gas and high voltage traps inside. Toxic gas? High voltage? There are some dangerous security devices up ahead. But at this rate, Dr. Dirty Geezer will... That's not his name. <laughs> but what are we supposed to do? We can't help him. What do we do? Should we take a gamble and rush in? No! Before you get yourself killed, how about you use your brain first, like a detective should? But I don't know what to do! That's why you gotta think! There must be some way. You're telling me to think, but I have no idea. I mean, the hitman can't come out without a blackout, right? To bypass security and protect the doctor, I should... I'm only a choice here, aren't I? <laughs> I mean, I want to use the toy, so we're going to use the toy. I know. Maybe we can use that. Use what? This lab has been developing a toy robot. Toxic gas wouldn't affect it. And it's supposed to be durable, so I'm sure it could withstand high voltages. I saw one in the other room. You're totally right. It's worth a shot. Yeah. Let's go get that robot. Oh, but th th hold. If we all leave this place, isn't there a chance the intruder could escape? Could even get away with the doctor. Yeah, you two stay here. Let me go off and Shall investigate. I remain here and keep watch. Are you sure, Fubuki? Yes. If someone shows up, I can just turn back time. Oh, I guess there's that. Well, we should leave her here then. She's better at this than us, anyway. You can count on me. <laughs> All right. Let's go get that robot. Good. Okay, there's also a thing that the client has to be able to afford this. And this is like a super duper expensive one, obviously, oh, right? Hurry. Oh my gosh, there's something to hurry. Oh, wait, toys, <laughs> toys, 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 toys. The thing should be in here with, with this. Master, maybe so that it's means... here. The sign reads robot lab. Okay, pause. Pause for a second, shitting on me. That means this the person who hired the hitman super flushed with cash to be able to go like, hey, go to Amaterasu's secret lab. So do we think Makoto hired the hitman? Maybe? You're right. Excuse me. What the? More peacekeepers? When will you leave me alone? All that commotion going on in the blackout too. I can't concentrate on my Bro, research. Bro, there's a hitman running around. That's not it. We're not peacekeepers. We're detectives. There's something we'd like help with. And that's what happened. Really? Dr. Weska? Let me think about it. Bro, we don't have time for that. We need to decide quickly. We're supposed to wait a little, so how about we kill some time checking that place out? That's a shiny if I've ever seen one. <sighs> okay. Looks like I don't have a choice. I'm obligated to help, even if it's Dr. Weska. All right, I'll lend you Ama, pal. That is the purpose of science, after all. Oh, thank you. This is such a big help. Thank you. Listen carefully. You can control Ama, pal, through this tablet. A display will appear with the camera's feet from behind Amapal's eyes, observed through here, while moving Amapal with the controller. Bumping into walls won't hurt it, so there's no need to be overly careful. All right, I'll give it a try. Also, regarding Amapal's arms, for child safety purposes, the ends of his arms are ball-shaped. It is unable to grab anything, but has enough strength to flip a switch. But it won't respond to any other commands while retracting or extending the arms. So keep that in mind. Okay. For example, until the arms fully retract, it cannot move or turn its head. This prevents the arm wires from tangling up, keeping children from getting too adventurous while playing. That's everything. 
Any questions? No, I think I got it. Mama Pal is built to be... Obviously, the elephant thing is an exaggeration for advertisements, but its load capacity is 100 kilograms. That being said, I don't know if it can survive high voltages. We'll try oh, not to get voltage. Um, still, human life takes priority. Please return it to me once you're done. What a nice Mama fella. Pal units are broken <laughs> right now, so it's the only one that's functioning. Aww. Understood. We're gonna we'll break sure to this one, Mama too. Our new friend. Oh, what a nice robot! Did you decide on a name yet? Sure. Anyway, did anything strange happen, Fubuki? No. I kept watching. We're the gonna go through time, this, uh, find no the body, and then end the episode. The Which means the doctor and the intruder are both still inside. Let's check the intercom again. Let's check the intercom again to see if the doctor's doing okay. It's no use. It's, it, he's not just ignoring us, right? It's reasonable to suspect something happened. We still might make it in time. Let's use the robot to investigate the situation. So that's the toxic gas chamber over there. <laughs> they sure made this extremely dangerous. Y Yuma, don't go too far in. If you open that door by accident, no, we can save in this room. Place will be filled with toxic gas. Uh, leave Amapel here and let's head back. Right. We'll leave the rest to Amapel. I guess it's burn safe than sorry. Okay, switching it on now. Let me control it. Let me control it. I want to bump into walls. <laughs> Please, game. That's all I'm begging. Oh, hey, the screen lit up. So this is what Amapel sees. So it's like the cockpit of a mecha. Whoa, what was that? Did it break already? I thought it was state of the art. No, it's all right. It's stabilized. Phew. Scared me for a second. Why was there an EMP or something? Uh. Gummies, two <gasps> corner. Okay, okay, okay. So, or yeah, got that. Access to retract arms. Make noises or all these back buttons. Does control. This part seems important. You know exactly what I'm gonna do. Oh, that scared me. S sorry. <laughs> hey, Master, can you play any instruments? Uh, like the piano, uh, trumpet, uh, or guitar? I'm not sure. I don't think I can, but maybe I could before I lost my memory. I like the detective should be able to here to say find the body. Yeah. I love this. I love this more than anything in the world. <laughs> yeah. Even through the screen, it feels awful to be traveling through toxic gas. I am beginning to be sick. I can do that too. I can do that yeah, too, machine. Let's hurry up and get out of here. Yeah. I don't see anyone. Oh yeah, so let's look for people. And I don't think there's anybody there. Okay, now here's this is the hard part. Toxic substance detected. Commencing decontamination. The door will be locked until decontamination is complete. The door has been locked? Is there a key and latch somewhere? It appears that the system won't let it open until the toxic gas has been removed. Well, if the door opened before then, the toxic gas will leak out? Decontamination complete. Looks like it's done. The next issue is the floor panels with high voltage currents. If you step on them in the right order, the door unlocks, right? But only the doctor knows the combination. And if you fail, it will huh? shock you at a high voltage. There must be a hint somewhere. This kind of thing usually has some suspicious notes around to help you solve it. Crap. What do we do? There are 
only nine panels, so why not just try your luck at it? But if Amapel is electrocuted, we'll be completely helpless. I can't just go in blindly. Then you better think of something. You know, like a detective would. Still, is there a way to step on the panels in the right order without making a mistake? No, wait, that's it! We might be able to do it using that! That? I guess Fubuki's ability, but uh, that's gonna take a lot out of her rewinding time like every three seconds we mess up. I know! What about Fubuki's forte? What is it, Yuma? Did you figure out the panel sequence? No, no matter how hard I think about it, I'll never figure out the correct order. That's why we have to just take a chance. But if you fail, you should be electrocuted, right? Yeah. Regarding failing, doesn't this remind you of last time? Um... What happened again? You remember the bomb threat with the resistance? We were in a similar situation. But thanks to your forte, we managed to get through it. Oh, you flatter me. That's why I need your help again, Fubuki. If we don't know the correct order for the panels, then we just need to try every single one. If I mess up, I need you to use your forte to go back to the time before we stepped on a panel. Oh, I see. That's a uh, brute force sort of method. Great job coming up with that. Let's hold hands, Fubuki. I'll measure the timing. All I need to do is hold your hand? Yes. Please stay by my side so you don't get lost. Yuma, it looks tricky to control with one hand. Uh, want me to do it for you? No, it's all right. It's easier to match the timing if I control it myself. Oh, come on, man! Just switch with me! I can't be the only one doing nothing! <laughs> oh my god, I totally feel that. Fine. I leave it up to you. I don't know the right answer, so uh, we'll just have to try all of them. Leave it to me. Lady Luck is mad in love with me after all. Just you watch. I'll get it done in one shot without having to use Fubuki's powers. Yeah, that ain't, uh... <laughs> Alright! Oh. That was the right one! <laughs> we have to turn back time! I don't know the right answer, so leave it to me. Just you watch. Hold on! What? Hey! How you were just about to step on the wrong panel. Huh? <gasps> you rewound time and came back? <laughs> yeah. Also, Amapel can't withstand the high voltage. Seriously? I guess luck isn't on my you side You got one, today. right? You know, I'll let you handle the <gasps> yes, thank you. Amapel. Right, got it. Um, please try not to make more mistakes. Since we are sharing my power, the strain is not too bad on my body, but still. I understand. I wonder which route's right. There's not your dead, Master? <laughs> okay. So we saw this. Thank goodness. This was the right one. We know that one's wrong, so let's go this one. Heck yeah! Look at that! Look at that! I mean, I guess, then this one. You have no choice here, right? Oh, guess that was the right one! Now, it seems like this would be the right answer, but if I was a super smart scientist man, I would definitely make it that, but I'm gonna make it this one. <laughs> it's alright. Okay. That would be too easy. So we're gonna go this way. And then the game wants me to finish this up, so I'm gonna go forward. Just a little more, Yuma. Ah! Look at this! Look at this unedited take here on how much of a genius I am. Ah! Oh! Let me rewind time. <sighs> hmm? Did you come Shut back? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> we figured out it'll strain Fubuki if we. F wait! 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 What part did I mess up on? One? It was nine panels, right? Or no? 
You see the co-design panels? You are amazing, Yuma! Thank goodness. This was the right one. It's just I'm a pal. Don't scare me like that. Wait, so I did that and then the next one's wrong, right? Yeah. We're almost there. Whoa! So did I just go? Nice work, Master. You figured out the panel room. I could have just we gone off it. and I I, I clicked we another one wrong. <laughs> It was one, Fubuki! It was w Oh, I guess technically Desihika made a mistake. Great job, princess! From my perspective, it looks like you two went straight through without making a mistake. I was so close! Looks like this is it, my man. Hurry up and hit that switch. We just need to stretch Amapal's arm out to that switch. Oh? Did you make a mistake with the controls? No, I just like the wee 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 wee. <laughs> Hurry up and press the switch, Yuma! I'm pressing it! Wee 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 wee! We're in a hurry, but this door is moving so slowly! This door is so slow. <sighs> Yuma, that should be good enough! Hurry up and move Amapel through that crack in the door. Hmm. Oh yeah. Didn't the researcher mention when an arm's extended, no other controls will function? Yeah, I know. I I'm guess hitting you X. Back the arm first. I'm hitting the button. <laughs> now we can move again. Hurry, Yuma. I wanna see this little corpse. Let me see. Let me. Oh! Someone kicked me? Whoa, what's going on? Amapel fell over. Maybe somebody pushed it over. Huh? B but who? The killer? Wee you, wee you, wee you. Huh? Hey, is that. Is that the doctor? A part of me already expected it. But I still Dang. don't know what I saw with my own eyes. Although no one could supposedly enter this lab, Dr. Weska lay dead in a bloody mess. I tried my best to assess the situation as a cold chill went through my whole body. A chill <laughs> of fear itself. Something impossible had happened. I felt afraid beholding that fact. Yuma, hurry and get Amapel back up to check the surroundings. We can't see anything while it's down. I, I'm trying. Extend the arm. <laughs> it's back. Take a look, quick. Wee wee wee. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going. Body. Body. Sir. Wait, hold on. Which was a wake up call? No. Wake up, sir. Wake up, sir. Wake up, sir. Wake up, sir. Right there. <gasps> that looks like a blade in his back. Uh, no. He's already dead. Seriously? Deadly seriously. He's dead as a door now. But uh, how? What happened to the doctor? No, we can't say for sure that he's dead yet. Come on, he's dead. Yuma, use Amapel to disarm all the security. We'll go check it ourselves. I'm kind of scared, so I'll be staying behind. Now's not the time to say that. <laughs> How about we disarm the security for now? The button should be around here somewhere. Is, yeah. Go, go, go! 
I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> there, that's the button. Disabling all security systems. Activation has been recorded in the lock. Okay, so we gotta see if it was recorded before also. Maybe during the blackout, they deactivate the alarm system. All security systems have been disabled. The status of every room is safe. Looks like the security has been disarmed. Let's go, Yuma. Be careful, Master. There's a high chance someone's hiding inside. Okay, but we'll investigate that next episode, because this is an hour and a half so far. I'll, I'll cut down, obviously, to make it shorter than that. Well, I'm excited. And... Okay, I'll see you guys soon, because I, I want to know... I want to solve this case. I want to solve this case so bad. Not for the guy dead, but because... It seems like a fun thing, and I got a robot friend. Laters!